Hey, looks like Mother's Day weather is going to be pretty darn good here in the lower Hudson Valley. Good to see you, my friend. I'm meteorologist Dave Schwartz at orangecountypostsentinel.com. How about Carol Brookshire Phillips? Happy Mother's Day to you in Woodstock, New York. Fanny Griffin in Walden. Renee, the lovely Renee in New Wind. Check out this video. Check out the video. That's the updraft, the dark cloud in the foreground, the hail and the rain in the background, and the lightning in between. Severe thunderstorms producing hail. We're getting into that season here in New York State. We've got to be heads up for it. But what's with hail? You know, hail usually occurs on a warm day when it's like 80, 90. Tomorrow, Friday's going to be 80. Well, here's how it works, my friend. You take a thunderstorm such as this, a cumulonimbus, and of course these storms form by the mere fact that warm air, more moist air is rising, cooling, condensing, you get clouds, and then hitting the tropopause and flattening out. But in severe thunderstorm cases that produce hail, the updraft continues. We have an overshooting top here. You see that on a satellite image, you know you're in for trouble. Pilots know how to get around these babies. There's your updraft. It can be very strong. You don't want to fly through these things. It takes the warm, humid air and the raindrops here below the freezing level, the blue line, up into the sub-freezing level. Quite often, the temperature up here is below zero near the top of some of these cumulonimbus clouds. Hail forms in the freezer of this cloud. And if it's a strong updraft, it suspends the hailstones. They can grow by adding supercooled water to them, by freezing with other hailstones, and eventually they fall to the ground when the updraft weakens or the hail gets so strong. Take a look at some of this hail. This is from Newburgh, New York. That is ping pong ball sized hail, maybe even golf ball sized hail, that can do that kind of damage. We've seen this in upstate New York. We've seen this in Texas, Oklahoma, through Tornado Alley. We're getting into that season right now. The rainmaker of the last couple of days here, the, oh, by the way, the reason I'm holding a Frisbee is because the largest hailstone ever, July 2010, Vivian, South Dakota, eight inches wide. A Frisbee is nine inches wide. Imagine that coming down from the sky. We could have that coming down from the sky right here to our west. This storm moves east. Friday looks great in Hudson Valley. Friday night we get thunderstorms and notice the severe threat area. Into the southern tier of New York, say from Binghamton or say Port Jervis, west into Pennsylvania, down into West Virginia. These thunderstorms head into the Hudson Valley Friday night. Could be stormy around here. Stay heads up. Saturday, mostly cloudy, Chance of showers, but the severe threat should be south of us by then, down into Jersey and further south. And then Sunday, Mother's Day, should look just like this. Sunshine, some afternoon puffs, less humid, gorgeous weather. Did I say hi to Renee in New Windsor earlier? I think I did. Nancy Pisaniello, thanks for checking us out. She's in Newburgh. And, of course, William Wigginton in Kennesaw, Georgia. OrangeCountyPostSentinel.com. I'm Dave Schwartz. See you next time.